Hi everyone, welcome back to the Voice Tip video series with the Cantor Coach. This week we are going to talk about how to avoid singing flat when we are performing. Let's get started. Okay, so tip number one to avoid singing flat, of course, you know what I'm going to say, is make sure we are supporting with our breath. Make sure we're taking that nice deep inner tube breath. If you haven't watched our video on inner tube breathing, I will link that down below. But basically make sure that we are expanding all the way around our waist and engaging our core muscles to create that deep supported breath sound. If we are under supporting our sound, it can often lead to an under supported uh, breathiness in our sound, but also can affect our pitch. So make sure we are supporting with our breath. That is tip number one. Okay, so tip number two is to make sure that we are singing with an open throat. We've talked about this before as well, but sometimes if our soft palate is not lifted in the back of our throat, so that again is way back here, um, we wanna make sure that it is lifted and that we are creating enough space for our sound to resonate. And if we don't, sometimes that can affect our pitch, AKA it can cause us to be flat. So a combination of under supporting our sound and a closed throat can create a under supported and flat pitch. Tip number three is to make sure we are listening, not only to our own sound, but whether or not our own sound is matching that of our accompanist and the people around us. Sometimes we can get a little bit off, especially if we are singing with a group or with, uh, with an accompanist, if it's just us singing solo. So make sure that we're singing that note in our head before we sing it out loud. Take a moment, when you are breathing in that nice deep breath to sing that note in your head so that you know where you're going and make a plan to hit that note right in the center. And tip number four today is to energize your sound. So that doesn't just mean support it with your breath. It means to energize the phrase by driving the phrase forward. So I'll give you an example of this. If I were just to sing the phrase as is, without any energy, emotion, or anything behind it, it would sound something like this. Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel. That could have the potential to fall a little bit flat or off pitch because I'm not really driving that phrase forward. I'm not putting anything behind it. I'm supporting, but not very well. So by putting energy behind it, it can sound something like this and much more interesting to the listener. Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel. See the difference there? So what I encourage you to do is think about each phrase in four bar measures if you can. And what I would do is support it not only with your breath, but think about the meaning of the text and drive that phrase forward. Sometimes people will think about a crescendo into the phrase if that's helpful for you. So practice that on your own. Pick your favorite Advent or Christmas hymn and see how that phrasing goes. Tip number five is to make sure that we are singing all the way to the end of our phrases. If we know that we're about to approach the end, sometimes it's very easy for us to back off of our breath a little bit. But what this does is this could potentially cause our pitch to fall a little bit flat. And so we want to make sure we are fully supporting our breath all the way to the end of the phrase. So for example, if we go back to our song, O Come, O Come, Emmanuel, if we were to back off of our breath, it would sound something like this. O come, O come, Emmanuel. Or if we sing all the way through and think about uh, fulfilling the entire phrase, it would sound something like this. O come, O come, Emmanuel. It's a much stronger finish. And so when you are practicing, make sure you are singing all the way through your phrases, fully supporting so that you don't fall flat. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave me a comment down below, and I will look forward to seeing you all next week.
God bless you. Thank you.